Hey, what's up, boxing fans? This is the Rope of Dope Report. I am your host, Chris Carlson, and I have another prediction show. Um, this one is basically the video. I just made a video for Victor Ortiz versus Andreas Kotelnik. Okay? I waited, I waited. I heard that the deal was basically done. They had a verbal agreement that was signed. Um, you know, so they had the deal constructed. They had around the money that they were going to make. So they had a little verbal deal signed, which is, uh, people think that's funny, a verbal deal and you sign it. But that's what they do. They kind of make the uh, structure of the deal. Sometimes they, they talk about the exact money that they're going to make. Sometimes not, or, or in the ballpark. And then they sign and say, we'll work out the rest of the, of the deal. Well, I thought that was a done deal. So I waited, and of course, the day I put it out, I put it out Tuesday, and uh, Wednesday morning, I get a, I get some news, I get some emails saying that uh, that fight is off, and they decided to go with Amir Khan. Now, let me turn this down real quick, sorry. Okay, I can understand Amir Khan's uh, Frank Warren. I can understand his people, his representation, wanting this fight. It's a, it's a title fight, so it keeps amping him up, but it's a, safe, a safer title fight, much the way it was going to be for Victor Ortiz. Um, you know, let's talk about Andreas Koltelnik. He, he's, he's a good boxer. Um, he, he, he keeps his hands up. He gets hit quite a lot considering he looks like he's got a nice base. You know, it looks like he's got a lot, you know, good footwork, pretty good footwork at least. Um, I think his only problem is he kind of stands a little too close and doesn't have a ton of head movement. Um, I see him bouncing around a little, kind of resetting once in a while, but it seems like he's kind of there to be hit, even though he looks like he's got a good base. The thing is, he, he's got his hands up, and he's got a good jab, so that makes him a, a good boxer, a solid fighter. Um, he has a draw to Mbe, I believe his name is Mbe, and then he lost to Mbe, I believe he lost to Junior Witter as well. Um, so, has a little pop, but no power. He only has, he has 30-some wins, and he only has 13 knockouts. So, um, I think it's going to be a good step up. But he, he's a good fighter, a solid fighter. Um, he got his title from Gavin Rees, who, personally, I think Gavin Rees was overrated. He did beat Mbe, so I'll give him that. But the rest, if you check out his record, he really hasn't fought in too many people. Um, and then Kotelnik came off of his last win, a 20, God, start with an M, I forgot his name, but that guy was 25-0, and 0, but it was kind of a, it was, not kind of, it was a bloated record. If you check that out, go check out his record, and he really didn't fight anybody um, before that fight, so he just, that's his last, that's uh, Kotelnik, uh, his last win against an undefeated fighter. Um, but like I said, the, the guy was, it was bloated. Um, so he's a good fighter. Um, let's talk about your Mercon. Um, obviously, he has super fast hands, really fast hands, um, and hopefully, as long as you know, it's it's this will be his third camp with Freddie Roach. Hopefully, he keeps those hands up and does the stick and move, stick and move, stick and move. Use his hand speed, use his athleticism, circle around, you know, throw a punch and go down, move your head, you know, keep moving and uh, keep those hands up. You know, if he does that, I believe he will, he will win. We, um, you know, it's interesting. In his last fight against Barrera, um, he showed all those skills. Now, he was going against Barrera, and even without the cut, and the cut definitely had something to do with how he fought, but even without the cut, I think he would have beat Barrera just because Barrera is just not, he's just not what he was. Um, so I'm not taking any credit away from Khan. You could see he'd made strides, you know, and I think another camp, you know, this is a good step for him now. Another camp with Freddie Roach, get his skills up, fight, get a title, and then you have a little more leverage. Maybe you can go down to 135, maybe you can fight at 140. But no matter what, I think it's a good stepping stone. Um, and this guy, you know, Kotelnik's been around for a little bit now, so I hate to call him a stepping stone, but I do think that Amir Khan will win this. Um, I think he'll beat him in a late decision. I don't think he'll knock him out, but I think he'll he'll beat him in a late decision. Um... Think about Amir Khan, though. I did want to say, um, in that last pay-per-view, um, you saw all the highlights before of all his, his, his fights, basically. And I had seen, you know, a handful of his fights, um, probably about half of his fights. And, uh, and it's weird because some of those, even though, don't, don't get me wrong when I say this, he was going to win the fights, but they stopped him early. Sometimes he'd just be going like this, you know, just flaring. And they'd stop the fight because the guy basically is losing. It's the third, fourth, fifth round. He's losing, and he's in a corner, and Amir Khan is just spazzing on him. Um, 
A couple of those got stopped too early. At least let the guy get knocked on his butt, maybe, um, and then stop it. Or, um, I don't know, I, I think that does prevent a fighter from knowing how to close the show and from finishing. And instead of just spazzing out and having the ref step in and the, and the fight's over, um, you know, you take your time, you get your shots. Of course, you go for the knockout, but you, you take your time doing it. You don't necessarily just spaz out. Of course, you get aggressive. And you throw a bunch of punches, just calmly throw it, you know, in straight punches, not worrying about just spazzing out. But I don't know if anyone saw that, that, uh, that rented the pay-per-view. There was at least two or three times where I was like, really, you're stopping the fight? At least let it go another minute. Like I said, Amir Khan would have beat those guys, but it does do something, um to a guy to learn how to finish he's so used to it's kind of like babying him along in a sense now i'm not trying to disrespect amir khan i think i like him i think he's i think it you know took a lot of balls to uh, get back into a ring with a, a big fight in barrera and i think you know he's getting back into uh getting into a championship match after coming out of the knockouts um so that's the only reason why i don't think i think he's still going to be doing a lot of sticking and moving and it's kind of still worried about the chin a little bit and just play it safe and conservative. So if there is a knockout, it would be a TKO late because of cuts or, you know, swollen face or something like that or the corner throws it in or something like that. But I think he'll win by a decision. Um, check out the box score on this. I'll have it after the fight. This has been another episode of the Rope and Dope um, Report. I'm your host, Chris Carlson. Peace.